lights are out on the safety car. Here we go. As, Buckle up Australia. As, Buckle up the world. As the Lotus gets retrieved to pit lane. And it's a wounded Shane Otten in a limping. <laughs> Mazda MX-5 Turbo, who has to try and hold out a Mazda RX-7 of Jerry Murphy <coughs> and Michael Kane with Michael Kane at the wheel and the future racer of Nathan Jess and Matthew Thompson which has been on pole here the last two years, didn't get pole this year, but it's gone further in the race than it has for either of the last two years. Seven laps to go, set for a sprint to the chequered flag in the 2014 Valvoline Winter 300. Away we go, and Shane Otten puts his foot down. He's not wasting any time. He wants to extend the margin so that if there's further problems with that car... Oh, oh. it was very close to the wall! And still leaking as well. And here we go, Michael Kane's got some laps cars to get through to get himself up to Shane Otten. Here comes Nathan Jess out of turn two as well. He's got laps traffic to pass as well, but he's got arguably the fastest car out of the top three cars, but he is in the worst track position out of the top three cars. Six and a half laps to go. Michael Kane gets held up a bit there by the Nissan 180SX going through turn number five. There are now three laps cars separating Michael Kane from our race leader, Shane Otten. So the map sensor failed on Nick Kansian's car. We just found that out. He just put it a post up on Facebook. So uh, he had uh, some heating issues. And uh, that's uh, what's put pay to his uh, defence of the Winston 300 crown. So here comes... Shane Otten and the smoke since the restart. It started smoking again quite badly. In fact, Shane Otten's struggling to pull away from the future racer of Chad Cotton and Jace Collins, which is on screen at the moment. The team supreme entry in 13th position, many laps down. They're not going to finish on the podium for a third time in a row in that team. Full course green flag situation now that the safety car is off. Can Shane Otten get that car home? He's got six laps to go. 18 kilometres around Winton Motor Raceway. Wouldn't, wouldn't, it, wouldn't it be heartbreaking for them to lose it from here? Oh, wouldn't it just? Absolutely. Down the main straight they come. Another lap is complete. That time around, Otten, uh, a 135-2 that time around. Oh, so he, oh, that's, so, that's his first oh, no, strike. You that's do his get a first few warnings. Strike. Yep, so he's just gone and done that. And Cotton, a 135-1. Kane, a 135-8. So he's okay for the moment. But he already has a strike. And Otten was sideways out of turn three into turn four. It's still leaking. I don't know what it's leaking at the moment. I hope he can limp it to the line. But... Kane is coming for him. The margin, 4.54. And Nathan Jess doesn't have to worry about breaking out so much because he is in a Division 1 car. So he can right. go a lot faster, legally, a lot faster than the cars in front of him at the moment. So he's got, as I said, probably the best potential in terms of speed to be able to hunt down the two in front of him. All right. Keep an eye on the clock as well, Lockie, because we're approaching two hours and 53 and a half minutes of racing. So we are going to reach the three-hour mark, whether it's 3.01 or 3.02, I'm not quite sure at the moment. A safety car from here would dead set almost wrap it up. Yep. Yeah, let's hope we don't get any more safety car interventions because if there was to be one here, we'd probably end up finishing under safety car and we don't want that. We want a green flag finish. Oh, no, the Shelly car spun off on the exit of turn 10, ends up on the inside of the racetrack there, on the left-hand side, manages to get going again, thankfully, which is just as well because if that car had come to stop in that position there, it may well have triggered another safety car intervention. Five laps to go in the Valvoline Winter 300 for 2014 and Shane Otten punches out a minute 35.6 so that's He's back okay to being now. a legal time once 4. again. 4.2 seconds to the margin and Kane's just busted at a 135.35 so he's second strike by my calculations. Yep so he's not allowed to go any faster than that again <laughs> so they're right on the ragged edge of the fastest times they're allowed to do and Nathan Jess a minute 34.7 he is 9.4 seconds off the lead 5.2 seconds adrift of Michael Kane in second position. This could be shades of Bobby Morris and John Fitzpatrick all those years ago if Otten limps it to the line like this. Five, four and a half laps to go as they go into the cleavage for the fifth last time. What we could well be set for is our closest Valvoline Winton 300 finish. <coughs> the previous closest was around 11 seconds between Nick Cansey and Chad Cotton in last year's race, but based on how things are shaping up, would not be at all surprised if it ends up being closer than that this year. There was a, a shot of the safety team talking to David Raddatz just a few moments ago. They're obviously down there. The Winton team are clearly observing Is that, a that car at the moment. Flag on pit wall. Hang on, let me have a look. 
You know what? That's a black and orange circle, and it's car number it 45. It is. Oh, shattering. Can you believe it? They've led the race all day, and they're going to lose wow. it like this? You are kidding me. Unbelievable. This is ridiculous. Well, he's staying out for now, Shane Otten. He will come around. He'll go past laps. the mechanical black flag. He'll go past it this time around. That's the and first time I mean, he's seen it. It's fair enough because you can't have a car with that much smoke coming out of it. I do understand the safety concerns of the officials. <coughs> As Shane Otten sets a minute 37.0, Michael Kane a minute 36.3. The margin down to 3.5 seconds. And the critical thing here is there's only 2.5 seconds yeah. between Michael Kane and Nathan Jess. This Nathan Jess and Matthew Thompson, are they on for the win here? Do we have a situation like Bathurst where someone leads on the last lap only? Quite possibly we could have that because... Has Kane, led, all, out of uh, has Kane led it all today? No, he hasn't, and neither has and neither Jess. Jess. <laughs> no. Oh, throw out the script writers, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you just cannot write scripts like oh. this. Shane Otten is still driving that car for all it's worth. The rear end was mega sideways as he headed up through turn number seven. I do feel sorry for Otten and Radatz. That's shattering. I backed them all the way they've led. From, uh, from about oh. lap 49 Here comes, to lap, lap 97. Here comes Nathan Jess. He's now right on the tail of Michael Kane as they head out of turn nine. So the future racer has closed right in on the back of the Mazda RX-7. Down into turn number 10 they come for the fourth last time. And Nathan Jess clearly has pace. He's had pole, as I mentioned, the last two years. His best result, though, in those two races has been 19th. He so desperately wants the win here. Up on the inside of Michael Kane into turn 11. Change in second position. Nathan just Otten's goes through out. in second. Otten staying out and going around again. <coughs> Can he limp that thing home? Will they let him? Well, if Surely there's a mechanical not. black flag and you disobey it, you'll really incur a lot of anger from the race officials. So if it is a mechanical black flag. I do have a sense of humour failure from time to time. Yeah, car number 45, then it could be costly as we see that Michael Kane has recaptured that spot from Nathan Jess. So Michael Kane holds out Jess for the time being. He recaptured the spot on the main straight. It looks, so to, it looks to be that they're, it's blowing more smoke in some areas than it is in others, that car. And the, uh, the car behind him is, of course, uh, the 222 of Cotton. Sitting down in uh, in 13th spot at the moment, he's uh, probably doing a good job to keep it on the uh, on the tarmac if he's driving in the same line as Otten with all the oil. Look at this, Jess, looking up on the inside. Can he get it down on the inside of Kane? No, he can't. Oh boy, this is going to be on for Young and Old in these latter stages. Oh, no, Neither one of them's let a lap all day. Not let a lap. Out of turn at number nine they come. Nathan Jess looking to the outside of Michael Kane. We've got the Shelly car in there as well, but it's many laps down and out of contention, as is the car that is running up behind our race leader, Shane Otten, at the moment. The Team Supreme future racer. It's many laps down as well and not a contender in this race, but it's having the pace in this late stage. Interview with the Battle for the Leaders. The Shelly car gets contact with Nathan Jess. That was costly there for Nathan Jess. It that cost was. him a lot of momentum on the exit of turn number 10 and allowed Michael Kane to pull ahead another couple of car lengths. Alton is in the pits. Alton and Radatz's day is done. done. Yep. What a cruel end to the race that they've been oh, right up no. the pointy end and in the lead all day long. No, the one of us got it right. I was, I was leading the battle there in terms of the tipping all day, and now Otten is out of this one, out of contention completely. Michael Kane now, your race leader. So this is the battle for the win in the Valvoline Winter 300 with two laps oh, and six kilometres of racing to go. Jess wide at turn two. Shelley now gets up the inside, so there's now a lapsed car in between our two race leaders. He'll get Kane as well. That pace on that Lotus is extraordinary, Lachlan, so it's going to be... Kane into the clutches, into the into the uh, lurches of uh, of Jess now as they go around the sweeper, because uh, I can't see Shelley sticking behind Kane for that long unless they're playing tactically. Through turn number seven, they come for the second last time. No, we've lost the team supreme car. No, Chad Cotton and Jace <laughs> Collins have had a spin, and they're now going to get entangled in this battle for the lead as well. So now there's two laps cars separating our two race leaders. Wow. Michael Kane and Jerry Murphy. What luck. Oh, what oh luck. no. Now the Shelleys are, are going side by side with Kane and Murphy. I think these cars that are just need to be a bit aware of what the situation is here and avoid <coughs> becoming too entangled. 
in what is a ferocious and frenetic battle for the lead. Jess White out of turn 10 drops the right wheel out into the dirt. We're going to have one lap to go at the end of this one. Could we see a passing move for the lead and the win on the final lap? Well, it's a distinct possibility at the moment. Into turn 12 they come for the final lap. Nathan Jess and Matthew Thompson, as Zach mentioned, have not led this race all day long. Could we again see another insurance race where the winning car only leads one lap across the start finish line they go. One lap to go. Jess oh, up the inside. It. Here's the move for the lead. Nathan Jess takes the lead of the Valvoline wins the 300 on the very last lap. Unbelievable. They started where? They started way down the order. So in fourth, wasn't it? Well, Nathan Jess started fourth, but the car in second Kane, position started 18th. Kane started Kane and Murphy. 18th and, and Jess started fourth. Wallace started in the last couple of years, he started on pole 2012, 2013, he started on pole. This year, he started the outside of the second row, and he's leading on the only lap that counts. The last one, he got the move done into turn one, and it's now or never for Michael Kane if he can strike back and get the job done in these final few stages. What hard luck stories. We've seen today. Oh, and we've and got the is... CXC Global oh, Car no. at the sweeper. It goes spinning off the circuit. He'll now, get back on, thankfully, and he... we won't have any dramas with that one. Here's the thing, Lockie. These guys have had hard luck stories the last couple of years, and now they're shaping up to win the premier endurance race on the Winton calendar. We are approaching our 10th hour on air of the 2014 Valvoline Winton 300 and Matthew Thompson and Nathan Jess are going to win the thing. Chas Mostert and Paul Morris S. Lachlan. Out of the last corner they come. They've went one lap all day. They're going to become our second winners from Division 1 in as many years. The Michael J. Rock Memorial Trophy, the Valvoline Winter 300 for 2014, goes to the future racer of Nathan Jess and Matthew Thompson in what is the most dramatic finish in any endurance racing event in Australia you will ever see. Unbelievable stuff here at Winton Motor Raceway. What a thriller. What an epic, enthralling race we have seen this afternoon. Three hours, two minutes, two seconds. Last year was just slightly longer than that. That is incredible motor racing. You look stuffed. Well done, mate. Good call. Fantastic stuff. Nathan Jess and Matthew Thompson win it from Michael Kane and Jerry Murphy. That is an almighty run from them. Third spot to... Uh, well, it'll be the Watton, won't it? Or will he? I'm not sure. He did yeah, get yep, back yep, out. Yeah, he did get back so out. He'll finish third on, on the league lap after all that. Harris, Sugden, Rogier, Reynolds, Deidre, Bell, Brooke, and Higgins. And I don't need the calculations to tell you that Justin Rogier has created Australian motorsport history. He's just the fourth man to win. Two championships of national level in one year. He and Mark McKay are Australian endurance champions for 2014. Let's also have a look at our division winners. Winner of Division 1, first outright, Nathan Jess and Matthew Thompson. Winner of Division 2, second outright, Michael Kane and Jerry Murphy. Winner of Division 3, ninth outright. What a fantastic performance from Sean and Graham Bell in the BMW E30. Daniel Dack has completed 66 laps. Um... I don't know if he'll be classified as a finisher because you have to complete a certain number of laps to be classified as a finisher as well as taking the checkered flag. True, so yeah. when we get these results up, it will be interesting for you. Holy smokes. Matt Thompson, congratulations. Uh, Co-driver of the winning car number 11. What a finish. Try and explain it to me. Thanks, Andrew. No, it's, it was really good, like amazing. Uh, he's been in the car for 50-odd laps. So he's pretty sore and just outstanding job for him to do that. So 45 was leading. He went out because? Yep, and then um, leaking all, I think. Diff all, gearbox all. And 23 was leading. What happened? Yeah, and then, yeah, Nave got around him. Then he got him back. And then, um, yeah, and then got him on the last lap. Last lap. Congratulations. How are you feeling now? 20, 2014 Winston 300 champion. Yeah, awesome, mate. About time. We've been trying and trying. Division one outright. And, yeah, sensational. It's all paid off. Well done. Let's wait for Nate. Thanks, Andrew. Cheers. Beautiful. Here they come.